So in this video, I'm going to show you something that is not necessarily given in the user's manual. When it comes to these talking atomic watches, when you replace the battery, you must resynchronize all the hands before initiating the watch. If you do not, then the watch's audio and visual time will not be synchronized. Now, if you look in the user's guide, there's nothing directly on how to do this unless you replace the battery. But after some digging on YouTube and doing some research, I figured out how to do it. This is going to apply to all four button models. And believe it or not, I actually had to get the instructions from a watch from the UK that I have coming in, and I'll show you that in a later video. All four button movements are basically the same. You may have you may have noticed if you shop around that a lot of these four button watches look alike. Well, that's because the basic movement is the same. The difference lies in the voice chip and the ability to synchronize with just the United States or US, UK, Germany and Japan. In other words, what I refer to as a domestic watch versus a global watch. So what we're going to do to get started is we need to get into the item that says second hand alignment. So we're going to push and hold the lower left button, your eight o'clock button. Set alarm, press 10 o'clock button to set. Now we're going to push eight o'clock until we hear second hand alignment. Alarm on, off, chime on, off, time zone setting, press 10 o'clock. For anybody with a Ryzen watch, this item would be labeled as Global Signal Selection only when you visit these countries. Set time, press 10 o'clock button to set second hand alignment. Press 10 o'clock button to set... Now, on a Ryzen watch, the 10 o'clock button is S3. Your 8 o'clock button is S4. So press S3, 10 o'clock. Whoops, I waited too long. Set to long shot time set to second hand alignment. Press ten o'clock button to set Press ten o'clock S three. Press two o'clock button to set eight o'clock button to confirm. Now, here's the important part. Do not press your two o'clock button S one. Instead, press and hold four o'clock S two. Now we wait. The idea here is to align hour, minute, and second hands to midnight. You will need sighted assistance to complete this task. To stop the second, the minute, the hands moving quickly, press your four o'clock button, S2. Now just keep pushing it one by one until all hands reach 12 o'clock. Now the reason they need to be pointing at 12 o'clock is because whatever position they are in will be set as what is known as the home position. And in order for the audio and visual times to synchronize, they need to be pointing exactly at 12 o'clock, which is here. Now, press and hold your 10 o'clock button, S3, for just a moment. Now you heard that beep, we just have to wait a moment. That should do it. Let's see if we get a response. We do not. Hang, let's hang on for another moment. What's going on is the watch is performing some calculations to figure out where the hands are in relation to the time. Something else is going on too, and that is that this watch is now completely reset. Essentially what's going on is the watch is acting as if there's a new battery on board. Alright, let's try pushing 10 o'clock again. 
See if that does anything. There it goes. It may take a moment. I actually managed to get it running by pushing the 4 o'clock button, S2. The time is 12 o'clock a.m. Now, if you push your 4 o'clock button, S2, you notice it doesn't say anything. And that's because right now the watch does not have a signal. If we push our 8 o'clock to get signal reception, S3, or S4, I'm sorry. USA, time not updated. Okay. The watch is going to need to get a signal at around 3 o'clock in the morning to get the time and to get the date back. That's basically how you recalibrate on a four-button talking atomic watch. Three buttons a bit simpler than that. So what we need to do is we need to pull the second hand out at midnight. So hang on. Oop. I missed it. So we need to wait for the second hand to go all the way around again. We need to stop it at exactly 12. Okay, we're getting close. Okay. Now, you notice the second hand has stopped. You probably heard a little click in the background. I pulled out the crown. Now all we have to do is adjust the crown till all hands are pointing at 12. And that would be right there. Now, what you do in th then is you push and hold your 2 o'clock button for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we push the crown back in. Now what's going to happen is... The watch is going to effectively search for and run to the internal time. Now, this particular procedure for the two-button talking watches does not reset the entire watch. In the case of the four-button watch, it will reset everything. Like I said, no date. USA, time not updated. No signal. Now, how exactly would you would you reset everything? Because the manual does tell you that you need to reset the time manually. I'm not going to do... I wasn't going to do it on this watch because it's so close to midnight when I'm recording this that it doesn't really make much of a difference. But I'll show you how to do it. Basically, press and hold your 8 o'clock like we did before to get into the menu system. And you want to go to set time. So we pressed our S4 to get into the time setting. Push S3. 10 o'clock. So I'm going to show you here just quickly how to do that. So you push the 2 o'clock button. Now, 
Now you need to wait until the hands have reached the proper time. In regards to the three button watch, you notice it too is still racing, but once it stops, once it reaches the appropriate time, you will notice that it's not near as destructive. In other words, once it reaches the internal time, there won't be a problem anymore. Whereas with this one, you're going to need to wait for, for the, with the four button, you're going to need to wait for a new signal. Whereas with the three, with the two buttons and the crown, nope. So that's why when people are looking to get a talking atomic watch, I've been lightly recommending models like this one because if you do need to recalibrate the hands, it's much easier to do on this one than it is on the four button. And some people who are blind out there will probably think, why does it matter? Well, it matters because we live in a sighted world and a lot of people, myself included, would glance over at somebody's watch and take a look at what the time is. And if, you're, and if your visual time is off, they're going to think your watch isn't set right. They probably don't know that you have a talking watch. So this is how to reset the hands on a four button and three button talking watch. Now it doesn't matter what the brand is, all three button and four button models, and I call this three button because you've got three um, um, protruding controls, even though the middle one's a crown. Um, all models, whether they be Ryzen, Actim, LifeMax, OnTime, Atomics, it's all pretty much the same. All three button models are the same, all four button models are pretty much the same. So if anybody has any questions, and I do apologize for, for breaking that up, because, I, um, like I said, I wasn't originally going to manually set the time on this one because it's so close to midnight when I'm recording the video, I didn't figure it would make much of a difference. But not everybody's going to be resetting their watch around that time, so I figured it's best to show you. But the nice thing is if you do reset your watch and it's around noon, then the, then the hands won't need to spin around near as much. At this point, it's basically just a waiting game. So if anybody has a w any questions... Oh, you cannot use the watches until the second hands... The hands have stopped running. And by that, I mean spinning really fast. So you're going to need to wait. And it's going to need some... You're going to need some patience because this can take up to 20 minutes. Maybe 30. I don't know. I haven't timed it. Anyway, um... You might need sighted assistance. And, um, good luck. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.